I'm just going to show you. I've had um, people asking about this, the purple Lolita painting that I've just done. So I'm going to do another one. And um, somebody's mentioned about auctioning it off so to help Sherry. So let's see what we can do. Uh, what I've done is just an ordinary children's canvas. It had a, a printed picture on it. And um, I'm painting it. <coughs> At the moment we're using black gesso as a base coat. So it's just a primer basically. Um, we've got um, I'm going to say we've got Sherry with us, but we haven't, have we? <laughs> no, I'm, I don't we've got Glenda with us joining us tonight. We still don't know where Chris is because she's not uh, been in touch, and we have emailed her, so we'll just wait and hope everything's all right with her. So, hello, Glenda. Hello, Fiona. And how are you? I'm good, even though I was left. Oh, today. oh God! I uh, what time did I go to bed? <laughs> I hadn't slept much yesterday, and I went to bed for a couple of hours. And what time did I uh, go to bed, Glenda? Uh, you went to bed my time at eleven o'clock. And I woke up how long ago? About half an hour. Yeah. So you went to bed. You you been to bed around the clock, so to speak. I've done I've done twelve hours, and I only went to bed for a couple of hours. <laughs> I know, but I've been really busy and then I can't sleep and I still can't get over the time difference. It's all cocked me up completely. Well, I say you've <coughs> got over it today. Well, I hope so, because I start work on Monday. I'm back at work Monday. Yeah. So, I need to be able to get up for that. Right, what I've done is I've just given it one coat with the black gesso. And I'm just going to wash my brush out. And then I'm going to dry that. Right, what I've done now is I've just dried off the black gesso. I've just drawn the picture. Sorry I didn't film doing that. Um, and then what I'm going to do right now is to just do a little bit of the background because on the other one I just left it black. But um, I do want to do some of the background right now. I'm just give it a base coat basically. can't get the camera at um, a better angle. I, I need my tripod, so sorry if uh, you're looking at it from a different angle. Or an awkward angle, should I say. I know some of you like to sit and watch um, how things develop, so... And I don't have any particular way of putting things on. If I want to paint something on it, I just paint it. There's no right and wrong way. Here's the Glenda. Uh, that's what you tell me. <laughs> there isn't though you want to paint the eyes or the hair or the lips go ahead and do them you can fit everything else in as you're going along yeah I know but you wouldn't I mean normal or normal professionals would probably tell you to start somewhere else but I always say do what you want it's your painting get on with it get on with it <laughs> it's true though it's your picture you do it how you want to do it It, you know, they only say things like that because that's how they've been taught, but the person that taught them, who taught, you know, somebody taught them to do it this particular way or that, doesn't mean to say that the original person that taught was right. Yeah, that's true, because, because, um, I've learned that, and that's the way it 
that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It I just, mean, no. You just got to do what you feel comfortable with and what you like. Yeah. Right, the paints I'm using for the skin tone is um, this one, the lightest shade. Um, is um, It's a craft paint and it's called Blush Rouge. The next colour, which is this one, which is slightly darker than that, um, is the um, Skin Tone. It's called Skin Tone, that's by Folk Art. And then the last one is also by Folk Art and it is called Cappuccino. So they're the three colours to get the shading that I have. I mean, you're you could have a green girl, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? It's whatever you want. Now, because I've drawn it, to help keep the face, um, all the features there, what I do is I just go up to, oops, sorry, I did the wrong one. I go up to, um, like the eyebrow I'm doing now, and then go around the eyebrow, because that gets filled in in black anyway. But it just leaves you the outline of your features. Oh, see, I've done that and I haven't even dried that properly. Right, what we're going to do is just continue. Like I say, we just go up to the line. Got something that on somewhere. When you're doing finer work, you just change your brush. You do have to do that. I'll tell you what, there is a big difference between using these and oils. Because your oils actually go on thicker. Yeah? Uh -huh. I said there is a big difference between using these and oils. Your oils go on a lot thicker. Not quicker, you said? Thicker. Thicker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have to do a couple of coats of this one. Yeah. It's funny, when you do it like that, it looks like one of those Halloween masks. Yeah, because you could do a Halloween... Yeah, because you could do it um, in white. Yeah. One of those scary things, you know? Yeah. I haven't tried anything yet from an angle. What do you mean from an angle? Oh, you mean tilting the face? Yeah. Which I need to try because... No, I prefer to do it this way than to do it straight on. Really? That's well, because if you do it straight on, you you do have to sort of, like, get the eyes equal. And it, it is harder to do it that way. Well, maybe you do, but everybody's got... Everybody's side of their face one is different from the other. So I just go with that. Well, yeah, that's true. That is true. 
but I personally find it more difficult to do it straight on. I mean, I do it, but um, not very often, so I'd rather do a, a tilted one. It gives it more character. If you look at a picture straight on, if we did the same person and yours is straight on and mine's tilted at an angle with a particular look in the eye, you know, like the, I've got the eyeball totally different as well, you know, like looking up or looking at side, it's a more interesting feature, a more interesting painting. I know. So we'll have a meeting then later on. <laughs> What you need to do is to try it with a different angle then and see what you think. Your characters come to life more. Yeah, mine looks like they're in the lineup. <laughs> Shut up, you nana. Oh, you pay a risk it for being on this piece of paper. You nana. Yeah, but there's no di there's no problem in your paintings whatsoever, and they look great. You've just that one you've just done's fabulous. Glenda's just done a, pa a painting today while I was snoozing, and it looks fab. It really does. Why, thank you. But I'm going to start trying it from an angle. It saves me a lot of grief. <laughs> right, all I'm doing now is just giving it another coat to darken, so that I can then start shading. I had to go through the whole process again. So I'll just keep the camera rolling and then I will leave it until I start the shading bit and come back. As you can see, you're getting the proper skin tone colour now. I've gone over it. Right, what I'm doing now is I'm... <coughs> that wasn't even taping. <laughs> No, I'm using the middle colour of the three skin tones that I've got um, to start the shading. And what I've done is finding a spot under the hairline where there's a shade and popping in the darker shade there. And to that I'm adding just a touch of the chocolate brown that I've got. And blending that in while both colours are wet under the hairline. And just go back over it until you're satisfied with where the shade is that you want. Because you do have a shadow from the hairline where the hair drops or lays, should I say. Again, going in with a darker colour and blending the two together. 
So really this is basically, the middle one is going to be my main coat of uh, colour on the skin. And then I'm going to use the paler one and the darker one to um, <coughs> do the highlighting. And because under the nose you'll get shading, you just take the darker one, shading around the nose, and then just blend that out, spread that out. Be a little bit more darkness under that side. And then go back into the pale one. What are you saying, Glenn? And then go back in with this one. and blend that round. And then also a little bit of darkness under the eye and shadow. Bring it round to the nose and down there. And just blend that out. And because she's tilting to one side, to the left, it'll also be darker. Just blend that in. Like that. Oops, drop a brush. <coughs> Let's go back and blend this in a little bit more. I'm not quite happy with the shade there. As you where your light's coming from, where do you think your shade's going to be? Quite happy with that there. And then like I say, we'll highlight the cheeks. And remember we've all got like a cheekbone, so you blend that in like that. And I'm going to darken just under this eye a little bit.
from there. And we'll batter this one and darken that a little bit. And I'm also going to darken this corner here under the eye. Uh, the eyebrow, should I say. Okay. Take that one a little bit darker. Bring it round. 